Hi guys and girls, today we're going to take a look at uh, using the navigation in React Native to be able to navigate between different screens. We're going to create a simple app with one home screen and also one profile screen and you can navigate to them like this. And we're also going to add this uh, navigation bar on the top. So let's get started. As you can see, I have already started my emulator, so if you haven't started yours yet, go ahead and do that. Then we're going to install the React Native app from start. So I'm going to use the create React Native app command, and I'm going to name the application nav app. <coughs> and let's just wait for it to install. I have done... Uh, uh, one of these tutorials previously with React Navigation, but the library I used then is deprecated, so now I'm doing this new one. And if you already have installed your app, don't uh, start it yet, because we're going to install the React Navigation before we start the application. This takes a while, so you can just skip this part if you want to. And there we go, the app has been installed. Now we're gonna just it into the app. And we're gonna install the React Navigation. We're gonna use npm install. And install React Navigation. And this takes a while, so you can fast forward here if you want to. And there we go. Now we're just going to start the application. I'm using Android, so I'm using npm run Android. Now we're just going to wait for it to start. So the application has started. Now I'm going to open up app.js. I'm going to change the syntax to Babel. And we can start by importing Expo. I'm going to use Expo to uh, get the height from the status bar, then add that height to the margin of the navigation bar, just yeah, so the status bar won't overlap the navigation bar. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but I'm going to do it. Then we're going to import the React Navigation, so import Stack Navigator from React Navigation. Then you can delete the default style sheet too. You can leave the container here because we're going to use it later. And also delete the default code from the app component. Now the default app component is going to return a component which we're going to name navigation app. Like that. And we're going to create this navigation app right now with the React navigation. So define a constant, name the navigation app. 
And if you're wondering what a constant is, a constant variable is a variable whose value will not be changed. Once it has been assigned a value, so it will be the same throughout the application. Now let's create the navigation with the Stack Navigator. We're going to start by creating the home screen. And it's written like this, home screen. And the screen for home is going to be home screen. And home screen is a class that we're going to create soon. Or a component, if you will. Next, we're going to create the, or define the screen for the profile page. And its name is going to be profile. And the screen is, of course, going to be Profile Screen, which is another component we will add soon. Now I'm just going to add this extra bit for, uh, for the Expo status bar. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. It's going to work anyway. And this is what I'm using uh, Expo for, for getting the status bar height. And there we go. It's going to be this one. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the home screen component. So let's create a new component, name it home screen and we're gonna add a static variable called uh, navigation options and we're gonna give it a title of home and this is gonna be the title that's written in the navigation bar which is gonna be visible here later Then we're going to need a render function, and uh, in the render function, we're going to declare a constant called navigate, which is going to be equal to the navigation. So this dot props dot navigation. And now this is sent from uh, the navigation app component, which we has created. Then we're going to return. Uh, view and give it a style of uh, styles of container and inside the view we're gonna add a text component and we're gonna give it an uh, on press function and now we're gonna use the React Navigation to navigate to the profile screen when we click this text component. Let's add some text, navigate to profile. So now as you can see, when we're going to click on this uh, text, it's going to use the navigator to navigate to the profile. And the profile screen is the, uh, the profile uh, Navigation uh, will lead to the profile screen. We haven't created the profile screen yet, so it won't work, but we can at least reload and see if we got the home screen showing an error. Line 6, see? Oops, so doctor, not supposed to be there. Let's see now. So yeah, it's all working. The error was due to uh, that I have defined the profile screen, but actually there is no profile screen. But we will create it now, so it's no problem. Now we can copy the home screen component and rename it to profile screen. And also we can change the navigation title to profile. And we can keep the view with style container and we can also keep the text 
now we're just gonna change this text because when we're in the profile component we're gonna want to navigate back to home so let's navigate to home and then of course we have to change the navigation to home so when we press this we will navigate to home which screen is home screen this component let's just add something in the container too let's give it a flex for full width full height and we can also add uh, line items center and uh, justify content center then uh, everything in the container will be centered uh, vertical and horizontal let's reload now we can try to navigate to the profile then navigate back to home yeah and everything seems to work okay. can navigate by pressing here and also here so that's how to use the react navigation i hope you learned something bye bye